Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Aries. This is going to be for the second half of your uh, November from the 16th to 30th. We're going to take a look and see what your overall energies are for the second half of the month. Apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below so what messages do we have for for aries and you can apply this to any of our placements you guys it's a lot aries here energy checking for aries over energies for aries for the uh second half of their november from the 16th to the 30 30th nine of cups here and a five of swords I feel like it's the energy of like I'm gonna stop playing games with people here, or I'm gonna stop play. I'm gonna stop playing games with, with myself, and I'm that and that you guys are gonna put your happiness first at this time here, okay? With the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Swords, let's see what else we have. The Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, and the Fool. Yeah, seems like you guys are definitely in this energy of, of experiencing new experiences. Okay, you guys are kind of going with the flow. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that you know when it comes to your happiness your guys and your angels your ancestors are protecting you here okay i do feel like you guys are definitely finding a sense of peace and healing at this time here king of wands aries ill sagittarius energy and the five of pentacles here very interesting here so i do feel like you got you guys are definitely leaving something very difficult behind here okay obstacles personal obstacles financial obstacles here and i feel like you guys are definitely moving forward and charging forward here when it comes to your own happiness here and your own fulfillment here, okay? The Nine of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles, okay? It's five of Swords and a Six of Swords, yeah. So I feel like what the universe and your guys and your angels and ancestors want you to let, let you know is that things are going to work out the way that it's supposed to work out. Just trust the process here, okay? Trust the process here, uh, Aries. Temperance in the Two of Cups, okay? Seems like you guys are coming into alignment here. I do feel like, it, you know, the way that I'm seeing this, this Two of Cups is ob obviously about, you know, love and, uh, you know, partnership and stuff like that. You know, I feel like you guys are coming into alignment. A healthy balance between your feminine and your masculine energies here, okay? The Fool and the Nine of Wands, okay? It seems like you guys are definitely overcoming your traumas here too. Yeah, so you guys could be overcoming your traumas here, you know, uh, or that you guys are fighting the good fight. Continue to push forward here, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, uh, you know, I, I feel like you guys just don't want to be in this miserable energy of suffering here yeah the uh, king of wands and also the queen of pentacles the five of pentacles here and the judgment card it seems like you guys are definitely finding closure to a situation where you could have been dealing with someone here that has hurt you okay that has left you out in the cold that has played games with you here and you know you're moving forward okay like I said, I feel like, you know, there's an energy of things working out the way that it's supposed to. All right. What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on for November 2024? Second half of their November from the 16th to the 30th for Aries. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, Scorpio Energy, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. Seems like you guys are in a really good place right now. Yeah, it does seem like there is offers coming in for you guys. Now, there could be a job offer. Okay, where you guys could be ending one employment, moving towards another. Okay, where you guys could be getting more pay here. All right, uh, but 
let's go back to the relationships that you could have ended here with someone. Someone here could be coming with an offer and an apology here too. But you're keeping things closed with this person here. You're just, you know, it's kind of like, okay, whatever happens it's just meant to be you know i just feel like you're not second guessing about it you're not, not you're not ruminating about it you're not making excuses for somebody else here okay so with the knight of pentacles here and the seven of cups this could be indication that you know there's more opportunities coming in for you guys when it comes to you know um work here we well, have the lovers here too yeah it seems like someone here might be wanting to reconnect with you or that there could be new love coming into your life here too you know this could be a soulmate okay this, this is someone who could be incredibly grounded here, all right? Someone who is thinking long-term here with you with the Queen of Cups here too. You know, it does seem like there's new love coming into your life. Yeah, there's new love that's going to come into your life where I feel like everything is going to change here with the Page of Pentacles here and the Page of Wands. It does seem like there's a... There's quite a few people that are interested in you here too, but there's one person in particular here that is emotionally available here for you. You know, someone who is very sensitive, someone who is very empathetic, someone who is very grounded here. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles here and the Star. Okay, Aquarius energy. Seems like you could be meeting the one here, Aries. We have the Knight of Cups and the Moon. I mean, it could be a work situation here where someone here is basically... Um, expressing their feelings here towards you yeah some here could be expressing their feelings here towards you from a workplace here okay what else do we have here for aries we have the six of wands and the ace of swords and also the knight of wands here okay seems like all eyes are on you it does seem like you guys are feeling really good about yourself here because i feel like you guys are definitely overcoming some sort of major obstacles that you guys ha could have been going through here such as personal, like I said, this it could have been another relationship that you're overcoming here. Perhaps you're removing all the trash here and that you're bringing in new energies into your life here at this time. New relationship, new job here. Okay, what else do we have here for Aries? Oh, with the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Also the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, your luck and your, your fortune is completely changing here for the better. Yeah, I, I, I do believe that there are new blessings that are coming into your life at this time. There's new love. There's new job. You know, things are pretty good. Yeah, things are going really well here with the Five of Cups here and the Hermit. Okay. So any sort of obstacles that you've been dealing with here, I feel like you've been actively working on removing those obstacles here. And I feel like that hard work that you've been putting, your, uh, putting into yourself is really paying off. All right, so... Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.